So I just bought this set of a magnetic base and a dial indicator for about 20 bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna open it up and see how well it works. The first part here is the dial indicator itself. This is the part that does the measuring. Um, as the needle moves up and down, you can see the dial spins um, and these lines around the edge measure in 0.01 millimeters. And if you're using inches, that's about four tenths of a thousandth for each line. So um, it can get pretty precise if you needed to. Um, depending on how precise you need. The second part here is the magnetic base. Um, the base normally is not magnetic, but when you flip on the on, now it is, and it's not moving around. It's not an electromagnet, it's actually a magnet, uh, a magnet which moves around, and then the position of the poles lines up correctly and becomes magnetic. So this arm is flexible um, until you screw this and then it becomes rigid and unscrew it and it's flexible again. So this is what holds our indicator. On the bottom and on the back, there are dovetails and that's what this holds on to. You can slide it over, it's a little tight now. Slide it, clamp it on, or you can do the same thing on the bottom. And now you can move around your indicator wherever you might need it. Another way you can fasten your indicator would be using these other pieces that came with it. This has a dovetail on it, so if we unscrew this part and put it on, screw it back on, um, now we have a shaft coming off of our indicator. You could put it up into the spindle, um, or also there is this hole here, circular hole here, which this fits into, and you could tighten it down on that. With this uh, shaft connected to the um, dovetail, you can clamp it in here and use it for other things that have dovetails, not just the indicator. Or maybe you have other indicators with the same dovetail, you could put it with that. And the second piece here is almost identical to this one, but the diameter of the shaft is different. So. Put this on here, clamp it onto your indicator and put it into a different size collet or wherever you need it to be. So overall, I think this is a pretty nice set of a, bit, a base and an indicator. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to test it much yet, but from what I've seen so far, I think it is pretty good quality for um, $20 on eBay. So um, with this indicator and base, you could indicate your spindle here um, just by pushing it so that there's pressure on the needle and then tightening it, tightening it down. And now when we turn it on, we can see how much the spindle's wobbling and it's not a lot, which is good. It's true within probably about half a thousandth of an inch, so. Um, you could also use this on a lathe. Um, to check how true your spindle is.
and you can see it's wobbling more than the mill was but it's still within a couple thousandths and for what I'm doing I think that's pretty acceptable the only thing that I don't like about this tool is it doesn't have a fine adjustment so if you're trying to indicate on your spindle you have to get it perfectly in place with this knob here some bases they have a secondary knob here that will make your indicator go um, up and down maybe a sixteenth of an inch so that you don't have to get it exactly where you want it um, with the course adjustment so if you're looking to get a good one um, I think this is a good investment and if you like this review make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe